Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. So today we're gonna to be doing a video all about your dream partner and when they're arriving and who they are. We're gonna be looking into all of their traits. We're going to really deep dive into who they are and they're sort of more of their about their personality and their sort of career, what sort of person they're like, all that sort of stuff. So it's gonna be really, really focused on your next person that you're going to meet. This is going to be your next serious, divine, divine, serious relationship. So let's see who this is so apology apologies for the audio if it's not that great i am looking into getting a new microphone because my one has been playing up so hopefully you can hear me okay and you know the audio is okay so apologies if it's not that great uh, as we as usual we're also going to look into the tea leaf as well we're going to be seeing who this person is if there's any messages that want to come up around the relationship and yeah, let's get started. So we have four groups here. We have group number one with the tourmaline, group two with the rose quartz, group three with the diamond, and group number four with the opal. Also, as usual, we're going to get these little cards, which I love these cards, because it really helps me to tune into your energy and to really tune into what's going on, especially when I am sipping the tea. So let's see. Oh, girl, you got lessons. Yes, that's a nice one. Okay, so group number one. Feel free to choose with the crystal or with the card. We have dream, lovely. Group number three, heal, nice. This is really nice. I'm definitely sensing the sort of readings we're gonna get now, which is really good. Lovely, I'm gonna receive. This group is always my masculine group. Not like gender, it's gender neutral, like it's male and female. But as in energy, like masculine energy, it always is quite a masculine group, this one normally. Okay, so please choose your group now and let's get started with your group. I also will timestamp when the uh, tea leaf section is as well. So you can choose, you know, if you want to just look at the tea leaves. And also we have intuitive underneath, which is showing me that a lot of these uh, relationships are going to be about intuition and working on your intuition and all of that jazz so let's get started with today's reading and let's see what's going on for you guys so start with group number one with tourmaline and lessons hello group number one let's get started with your reading i want to show you guys my nails because i'm pretty obsessed with them <laughs> they're little clouds which i think they're so cute just want to show you aren't they so pretty i love them my libra energy is like really popping out okay so we're going to uh look into the tea leaf in just a moment first of all we're going to look into your love life um i like to tune into your energy <clears throat> before we have a look into uh, your partners and you know when they're coming in and things like that so right so you guys have tourmaline confidence oh she's a bit warped confidence and expression and we have lessons so i genuinely feel like even without looking at the back of the card i feel like the main thing that you're learning is to really really express yourself when you're in and out of relationships so this is am i being authentic to myself am i able to express who i really am does it really matter if they you know if i do you know it doesn't really matter if um, you know, I'm not doing it for them. I'm doing it for me. It's not about when you get into a connection and this is any connection. This is friendships as well, because friendships are there to really prepare you for relationships as well. Um, it just shows you where your intimacy level lies. So for you, I feel like it's actually about really allowing yourself to be confident when in partnerships, allowing yourself to feel expressive and like you can expand, like you can be yourself, like you don't have to keep warping and hiding and shrinking yourself just to be in a connection, okay? And this is watermelon tourmaline. Watermelon tourmaline is such a yummy crystal, like emphasis on the word yummy because it is like watermelon, but it's just such a lovely crystal. And I mean, it says it's including black, bicolor and colorless varieties, which is tourmaline. Like tourmaline has so many different um, colors to it. Tourmaline is associated with the astrological sign of Gemini and the month of October, which I find really interesting because it has like the two colors, which is very much Gemini, the twins. And then this is a really good crystal for creatives and intuitives. Tourmaline is known for enhancing self-confidence and self-expression. I also want to show you guys another tourmaline that I have. So this is green tourmaline. I just want to show you because I'll show you the different colors. So this one is really, really, really beautiful. And it's, I feel like, for the heart of chakra. And green tourmaline is a really, really gorgeous one. So this is one from my personal collection. I'm fucking obsessed with her. She is so beautiful. And she's a natural, gorgeous goddess. 
love her. So this is what I'm feeling for you guys. It really is about not to shrink yourself when you get into relationships. I'm going to keep saying that over and over again because I feel like for a lot of you guys, you do and tend to shrink yourself without even realizing. This is very subconscious, especially for my women. Uh, in, for my women, especially, it comes with not being able to be really a woman, not being able to be a feminine. And when it comes to my men, it's really about not being a masculine, not being not being able to express your masculine side. Not even, depend, it doesn't even matter if you are more of a masculine or more of a feminine. It is more about that gender when it comes to how you approach your relationships. Are you feeling, um, is your is your feminine on your, and your masculine side balanced when you get into connections? Do you feel like with your feminine side? If your feminine side isn't balanced, do you shrink, you hide? and you feel like you can't assert yourself. If your masculine side isn't um, balanced, you feel aggressive, um, short-tempered, you feel like you can't open your heart chakra, because that's the thing. That is where I feel like there's a sense of like compromising, and that is something you don't want to do. You don't want to compromise yourself for a relationship, because you will just feel like fucking crap, okay? <laughs> All right, so let's have a look at your uh, tarot cards. Sorry about, the, um, about that, guys. Okay, so... Let's get your tarot cards and we'll see what wants to come through. And we'll have a look at your love life first. And then we'll, just to get a sense of where you're at, and then we're gonna have a look into your partner. So do you wanna put this somewhere? I don't know if I've got enough room. We'll put this here and then if, I might move it if we haven't got enough room. Okay, let's give her a little bit of a shuffle. I'm picking up for some of you guys a really strong message is you need to do some meditations, um, guided ones. I heard like audio in my ear and I heard like pod podcasts, um, any sort of new audio that you need to look at. I don't know if you guys used to like um, get library books and used to get like CDs from the library. Um, but that's kind of obviously the newer version, which is the audio books. Lovely. Yes, it's literally about self-expression. That's so gorgeous. Oh my God, I'm so fucking happy. <laughs> okay, so let's put tourmaline there. We'll put these tarots down here. Okay. Also, this card is just absolutely stunning. I love it. It's just so yummy. For those of you who want a Leo or are a Leo or, you know, your energy is very Leo, this is the group for you because I'm picking up, this is about your insecurities around the Leo aspects of yourself. It could be that you are scared of being seen in relationships, you're scared of being vulnerable. And that is coming up a lot for you when it comes to your relationships. And I feel like this is an offering. That's definitely an offering coming towards you around relationships. You will be tested in your friendships first before you meet your partner, 100% on that. I can pretty much guarantee you that because it gets you comfortable with being who you are, being yourself. And if you don't feel comfortable with being, you know, comfortable expressing yourself around relation, um, around friendships, um, male or female, then you will end up not being able to, um, you know, bring in that, higher vibing relationship because it's really about intimacy you can have a fucking deep level of intimacy in your friendships you really really can and it's only society that's put like friendships and relationships in a different box they're pretty much the same thing the only difference is the sexual intimacy um so yeah yeah beautiful lovely okay so what i'm seeing for you guys is that they're showing me really clearly actually is that for you guys, you do struggle with your masculine and feminine side. Um, for some of you guys, it will be more of your feminine. For others, it will be more of your masculine. So there's different messages here. So just, um, you know, take it as it resonates. And I do try to, you know, I do try to go genderless. But if there is a message about a male or a female, then it just comes up. So what I'm seeing is you are right now building uh, your career. You're building money. Uh, I'm hearing building an empire, whatever that means to you. That can just be literally happiness. I mean, all of us deserve happiness. That's what we should be working on anyway. But I feel like it's really about you right now. Um, I'm seeing like pointing like this way. I'm seeing like a lot of this, you know, with like planes and they have that person on the runway. It's like, oh, this way, that way, that way. <laughs> That's what I'm seeing. It's like you're being pointed, directed forward. So any obstacles you're having around connections, connecting to yourself. Yes, that is the reason why you have obstacles is because you're, you're actually being called to work on one path right now, which is you. So I'm seeing you having a lot of opportunities in career. And what this is doing is I'm hearing, yes, I know it's been really dry down there when it comes to a relationship and intimacy. I know, girl, I'm, I know, I, I totally feel you. But what I'm seeing is it's okay that you're that, that that's happened like that. Um, You might be, you know, feeling like, oh, it's my age, you know, I'm never going to meet anyone or, you know, I'm too young, I'm too old, whatever. Whatever the reason is, there's a massive insecurity of I am running out of time and there's no, there's nothing here. Intuitively, I'm getting absolutely no problems whatsoever. The main kind of quality 
what I've got issues, what I'm feeling is, is your level of intimacy and are you willing to go deep with somebody? I don't feel like you're willing to go yet because at the moment it's really about your career. It's about being seen. I think I feel like for you it's really about your passions and what you love. And then when you do that, you're able to really express yourself, express your feminine side. I'm seeing like this heart around the empress and you're able to birth a new you, but you have to let go of this old self. So I'm hearing a great deal of shadow work, a great deal of looking into that um, subconscious beliefs, you know, possibly changing a lot of your friendships around you. I'm getting a lot of friendships for you guys. So you might be somebody who's really like close with friends or, you know, you want some new friends because I'm seeing a new path being um, paved and that's when your person's going to come in because you're ready. I'm just hearing you're ready. Two years at the most, I feel like for you, you're going to be in a relationship and that is obviously divinely timed. I'm not saying this is set in stone. This is a general reading. So I just want to emphasize that. But honestly, it really is about stability for you. Um, it really is about where you feel stable. So I'm going to say, do anything you can to feel stable. You will not feel stable. If you are craving a relationship and you are, you damn well know that if you get into a relationship, you'll be attached to them. You know, you'll do everything that they want to do. You won't be yourself. That is anxiously attached. And I do genuinely feel like for a lot of you guys, it's really important to focus on your own energy because the last thing you want to do is completely hide yourself. Because at the end of the day, it's really about your confidence when it comes to relationships okay so lessons let's have a look and see um the next thing here so we're going to pull some dice and we're going to see all the info i'm going to pull some chakras i really want to get a nice a nut and nice a nice little deep dive into um chakras and things like that because this is a really nice way of kind of seeing um the main kind of aspect of you and how you can really attract this person because the last thing i want to do for you guys is going to say this person's amazing blah, blah blah but it's like um how are you going to get there and then you just repeat the same pattern and attract the same person and that's not what we want to do okay so for those of you wondering this is the chakra energy deck that i'm using if anyone is interested. So this is a crown that your person's working on their crown and you're working on your throat. That is actually makes so much sense because I really feel like with um, confidence and expression, it's your throat chakra. Actually expressing your, your throat chakra is really important. Oh, my throat is killing me actually as I'm saying that. And then we have abdominal lift. Oh, she looks like she's having a little poop <laughs> or straining. Uh, but this is obviously a yoga pose. No disrespect to anyone who does yoga, but that just that just came to me. <laughs> um, so the solar plexus slash your relationship. It is about really feeling good enough, which is really nice. Because when you do start to feel good enough, you do start to get that self-love within you, then you're not worrying about another person coming in. So let's have a look at your connection. Let's see what the main crystal that's around this connection. Let's see. Ooh. Yes, the root chakra, nice. Okay, so that's really, really good. This is really important because what I'm feeling is it's about stability. Um, healing your energies is really, really important at this time. So let's get some lovely dice. Let's see what's going on around this person. And then we'll really get into who they are. And obviously we'll pull some more cards. Whoa, sorry about the sound, guys. That was so loud. I do apologize for that. Um, make sure to turn your headphones down. <laughs> uh, turn your volume down. Whoops, that was six. Okay, so we have, let's see. Sixth house, Mercury. Yep. And then the twelfth house. We have Cancer, Sag, Jupiter. Nice, 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 nice. Nice, nice, nice. All right. So how you're going to meet them is definitely through healing your energy. Is definitely through getting getting you comfortable with being yourself. That is just so, so important. Um, the more you come back to your emotional side, you will actually attract this person quicker because what it's doing is it's getting you more comfortable with being your emotions because your partner will bring that out in you. I feel like your person, you're going to meet them when you are in a much more mature place within yourself, when you feel like you can manage your life just a little bit easier. It feels like you're more stable. I'm hearing when your kids have grown up. So for some of you guys, it will be when you when your kids are a few years older, if you have children. Um, I'm actually picking up for some of you guys, it's when you manifest a house or a car. There's a sense of physical maturing as well. You might suddenly move as well. There's a sense of like uprooting, changing your life um, and really getting comfortable with something like that. And yeah, this is really, really interesting because I feel like there's something here with the 12th house. This feels like I'm hearing I'm able to deal with my stuff. I'm able to deal with my stuff. Your person could easily be a Cancerian or a Sagittarius. 
and I am picking up on Pisces as well. I'm putting my finger to my lip and I'm hearing someone saying shush, like they're shushing me. This is definitely to do with your inner voice. It's like needing to like calm your inner voice so you don't keep being really hard on yourself. And I'm picking up for a lot of you guys, you were shushed a lot when you were younger. And that's not really a good thing. <laughs> um, that's probably what you're learning, which is to speak your truth. Your person is learning to uh, listen to their intuition. They're learning to express themselves. They're learning to um, not, you know, just trust in facts. They're learning to trust how they feel. And I feel like for a lot of you guys, both of you are working on intuition. You're working on trusting your gut, trusting your, um, yeah, my throat is really itchy now. <laughs> Great. <laughs> Fun, all right. Okay, so let's get some more cards around this person and then we'll pull some. Mm -hmm. Do we wanna do this now? Hmm, mm, I'm not too sure. Let me feel into this, because I feel like I want some cards for when we do the, uh, the tea. Okay, yeah, we're gonna, we're gonna pull some. Okay, we can always pull some more once, when we do the tea as well. This person is, for some of you, I'm actually here in the age of 40. That's not going to be for everyone. If that resonates for you and you're around that age, then that's obviously for you in particular. Nice. Very, very psychic. Your person is actually very psychic. They don't actually realise. I feel like they're probably just going to awaken um, maybe a year before meeting you. They could uh, easily read, uh, read like... I get like intuitive messages. I don't feel like they read tarot. They might just read in general. Um, they might own like a very small store um, in the middle of basically nowhere. If you're in a small town, this is a special extra detailed message for you. You're going to meet them in your small town. Um, so this energy is like this person's really specific to you. Um, so when you see them, you will know that they're most likely going to be someone very special in your life. And the Venus is nice. What this is showing me is this person's very passionate about what they do. They're showing me that it could be from anywhere from like a psychologist to a veterinarian to a park ranger to a bookstore book owner. Um, they could also be a therapist with the eighth house because they help people to transform <clears throat> and throat chakra. I'm hearing, look at the, look at the, ow, I just burnt myself. <laughs> I have hot tea here and I literally just burnt myself. Um, they're telling me about the shark because they're saying, look at the connection. Okay, this is to do with your careers. Um, so you might want to do something to do with your throat and they're doing something to do with their intuition. So this could be to do with trusting their gut. I feel like literally to do with trusting, your, trusting their gut. You might take a leap of faith when it comes to your career and that brings you into alignment with this certain person because you are basically in kind of like a... I'm hearing the word rapture, which to me, what they're showing me, which might not be what rapture means, but what they're showing me is you're being wrapped. There's a, like an energy of something wrapping around you and you're being tired and you feel tied down. And this can be a healing energy. It can be quite comforting because you know when you swallow a baby, you kind of like, you you, um, you get it quite tight in there. Uh, you get the, obviously the baby quite tight in the, in the swaddle. It feels like you're being swaddled, but it does feel a bit suffocating. It's kind of like, okay, when is she going to exit the premises when is he going to exit the premises when are you going to change your path and what i'm seeing for you is about your career it's like don't forget you are in control okay and this is about actually giving yourself permission to do the career you really really want to do okay so let's have a look into your tea and we'll pour a few more cards and we'll see what else wants to come through All right, group number one. So when it comes to your tea leaves, I felt a lot of scattered energy. We do have a shit ton of tea, a shit ton of tea going on. I'm picking up on a massive scattered energy. Your person could have really strong Gemini in their chart or their ethic, the way they live their life is quite Gemini. This burps as clarification. We do have the sun, is this the sun? I think this is the sun. Yeah, the sun being highlighted here. So I feel like this person is definitely a, a really strong powerhouse. Like the way they are in their life, they don't like to sit still. They love to travel. They're always traveling. They do sometimes use, sometimes use travel as a bit of a distraction. 
Um, so let me get this up a little bit closer. So what I'm seeing is this person definitely lacks a lot of self-trust. Um, when it comes to being in a relationship with you, they will struggle to commit at first because they're not used to the depth. They're not used to your depth. That's nothing to do with you. That's just because they haven't had that before. Um, they do struggle with their masculine and feminine side. That is something that they're learning. They are more on the feminine side. Um, we do have Taurus and Capricorn and Libra being highlighted, which have quite feminine signs. I mean, Taurus and Libra are all by Venus. So we did have Venus. So that's amazing. This person is a lover. They love relationships. They love anything to do with connection. Um, they're going to be the sort of person to message you first. We have the um, the letter being like highlighted here. So what I'm seeing is this person, like I said, they're very scattered. They they um, The main thing I heard was also they're going to have lots of different careers. There's somebody who is going to try lots of different things. You can, you can guarantee you're going to have so much fun with this person. And that's why you're doing a lot of, um, you're going through a lot of lessons right now. And you're healing a lot. Because what this is doing is it's getting you to experience um, the depth of you so you feel comfortable enough to try new things. Because if we haven't gone out of our comfort zone, it's really hard for us to try new things because we feel unsafe doing so. Because we're kind of scared of what could go wrong sort of thing. But at the end of the day, it's like, well, it doesn't really matter. It's like, it's, that's just going to happen that way. So this person doesn't lack confidence when it comes to travel experiencing things they love family they're really family orientated they may be close to their family i'm not too sure on that but they do love their family um they can be a little bit stubborn a bit hard-headed but that's just them and you're going to find that actually quite a sexy quality because they're very stable there we go guidance lovely so you could be divinely guided by this person when it comes to meeting them like i mean lots of omens lots of synchronicities you could have a reading that tells you about this person you could have somebody just randomly walk up to you and give you a sign um you might learn some new information when you start a new career and that could bring you to your person you're i'm hurt i'm hearing if i never took that lump took that lump <laughs> no took that leap then i wouldn't have met you there we go and then we have union which is gorgeous Oneness, unity, and merging. Gorgeous. And then another one, we have talents on the right path. A lot of you guys really do struggle with getting out, getting out of your comfort zone. This person is going to really stretch you to get out of your comfort zone. Uh, for you, you are quite an anxious person, or you do have, or do or have struggled with anxiety. And this is just kind of like your lesson to trust another human being when you've definitely been let down a lot. You know, you have been let down a lot. And it's been really hard for you to really deal with stuff. And it's really important to learn to trust yourself. And that's going to happen with time. Okay. So I'm going to pull you a couple more cards. I feel like I want to go deeper into this person. But I feel like there's not really anything else to say. So I'm going to pull just a couple more cards. Nice. So this is in the reverse. Which is why you're kind of fed up with the wisdom. You're kind of just like, I want to move forward now. I just want to move forward. I'm done with that. There we go. That's why this is really highlighted in this reading. Feminine energy is really highlighted. This is called the Asterial Oracle, Asteria Oracle cards, by the way. For those of you wondering, a lot of you guys ask about these cards. So that's the, uh, that's the deck that that is. Okay, so I'm going to read from the, the book, actually, because I'm really being drawn to do that. So I'm going to do that now. All right, let me just grab this. So, wisdom, let's see. So, wisdom. Where's that? Number 14. So, 14 could be your omen. Okay. You have been blessed with a gift of inner wisdom, collated from a series of past lives that you have lived previously and are still experiencing. This wisdom isn't something you can learn, rather something you have already embodied. The owl symbolizes wisdom, transformation, and intuition, all the things your soul carries. Having awareness and tuning into these gifts can be implemented through focusing on being present and trusting in your innate abilities. The owl will guide you to see clearly, protecting you from darkness and deception. Call upon this energy for guided assistance in trusting yourself. Beautiful. Okay, let's get one more card. Let's get you a rose oracle card. Selenite is a really good crystal for you guys. There we go. I like the last um, quote here where it says a seat at the table. 
initiation thresholds birth rebirth a seat at the table it's basically saying i fucking deserve to be here i fucking deserve to be in this connection if someone makes you feel inadequate they're not the right person and there's definitely some more healing that you may have to do if that happens um if someone just doesn't make you feel fulfilled um and that's not to say this person's meant to fulfill your every single friggin need but this this says that you possibly might be a part of you that's still scared of getting intimate you know and being intimate when i say intimate i mean emotionally i mean to allow somebody to really hear you and listen to you a lot of the time you know we've kind of been as empaths if you resonate as an empath it we basically get kind of programmed to get drawn to narcissists because we are givers <laughs> so it's like if that's really worked on you can be so fucking powerful you can also meet this person after a saturn return um or after a really big saturn lesson um, so that could be after something gets shaken around the home. Um, it could be after a Saturn moon or a Saturn moon or a Saturn uh, return, uh, something like that. That could be like a really strong thing for you guys. Also, it's do with Capricorn because Saturn is about Capricorn. So have a great day. I hope that resonates with you guys and I'll speak to you soon. Bye. Hello, group two. Let's get started with your reading. So you guys chose the Rose Quartz and the Dream card. So we also have the tea leaves, which I have... Um, time stamped just forgot the word time stamped down below so if you would like to just check out the tea leaf reading then that will be there for you so let's get started with your journey with your person who they are and all that stuff so we have a kind of dream and we have compassion and love Ooh, okay these are a bit bent this card <laughs> okay so let's see so this is a stone of assisting awakening assisting Oh, the stone of awakening, assisting with the spiritual attunement while welcoming qualities of compassion, tenderness and contentment. It, invite, it invites love of all kinds, <clears throat> making its wearer more receptive to affection from others and to love from th themselves. It's uh, associated with Taurus and Libra and the planet of Venus, delicately pink in colour and generally translucent with an almost greasy luster and milky appearance. I love that milky appearance that makes me want to cringe okay so when it comes to dreaming with rose quartz i feel like for you guys you are very very romantic you are somebody who i feel like everyone's romantic on a different in, on another level but a different level and i just saw like a hospital cafe which sounds really random but a lot of messages are very random but i saw like a cafe and like in a hospital this is not to like worry anyone it's not like a message of like health or anything like that. i'm not saying that at all it literally just i just saw that so that could be just a message for some of you guys so what i'm feeling for you is it's really about romance for you you're gonna meet somebody i feel like who you will have a child with if that's something you want I do see you being married. I see you doing all the normal things, well, quote-unquote normal things, uh, when it comes to being, being in a partnership. And you are just so effing happy with this person. You are going to feel really free. You're going to feel like you can completely be yourself. And, yeah, it just feels really nice. It feels very new, very fresh, brand new person. You've never met this person before. And you are going to be very surprised at who this person is. And when I say surprised, it's because you don't un you don't kind of like know when they're coming into your life which none of us really do but you genuinely don't have a effing clue like it's almost like if you have readings they won't really say when the timing is and things like that and i don't know if there will be a timing for this group um because it's not really that important it's really just about you and learning to love yourself more and give yourself a lot of compassion and joy but what i feel for you is you've got to give yourself a break because you are very very unconditional you are i feel a star seed or an indigo child or a um empath and you always put other people first so when it comes to a connection you will be learning to not overdo it not to also project your kind of fantasy onto them so you might be somebody who's a pisces or a libra or a gemini you tend to kind of project this kind of perfection onto people you're with and it's you're, something you're learning is to just let yourself be you and let them be them and releasing this sense of perfectionism because perfectionism is just like made up it's really in the eye of the beholder you know so that's kind of what i'm feeling and i know that sounds really poopy <laughs> for some of you guys to put it lightly um for some of you guys because i know a lot of you guys you know you're you know you're kind of imagining this person in your head but to put it really bluntly you know when it comes to relationships they are sunshine and rainbows but they're not always that so you want to be somebody who can handle emotions who can handle change who is able to change with you who is able to really see you actually see you for who you are rather than what they want you to be 
and things like that. So I see a massive change. I see like this change happening pretty quickly. Um, I don't see you being, I actually don't see you being single for much longer, which is really funny because I literally said the timing is like not really here, but it's here, it's really here. I'm not getting numbers, I'm just getting a feeling that this person is very, very close and it's going to be when you're able to not put all of your energy into a partnership. It's when you're able to be in your body while in a relationship, but also, yeah, perfect. <laughs> we had the lovers. Um, yeah, be in a relationship, but also be yourself. <clears throat> and something you're learning right now is to be authentic to who you are, is to stand your ground, have really strong boundaries, and to allow yourself to express who you are without any judgment. Because if you're judging yourself, you will attract judgmental partners because you are scared of seeing that within yourself. So any part of yourself you're scared of seeing, that will probably come through the partnership. So I'm hearing, let's get really uncomfortable and start feeling our emotions. <laughs> okay, so you might meet this person near a body of water. Um, a lake, a river, a sea, ocean. You might live near there. They might live near there. Um, yeah, I'm just hearing to stop being so hard on yourself. So you're going to definitely form some relationships, um, possibly while in this partnership, like meeting this person, but also possibly just before you meet them, you might get a really close friend who you really, really like being around. And you may meet a friend who's like from abroad or something like that. Um, but there's a sense of like union with new people who get you and understand you your tribe is being formed as we speak basically um i also saw i'm actually seeing like an image of like a man here in the viewfinder it's my viewfinder is really really far away that looks like a an omen so in i mean in the camera now you probably can't see it but this looks like a guy's face uh, i'm seeing it from far away so but it looks like that to me and what i'm just being shown is it's like you're really working on your masculine side. Um, you're really working on asserting yourself, having really strong boundaries. And this is going to bring in a healthy partnership because you just feel good within yourself because a partner will always highlight the things that you haven't worked on. So if you really look at yourself and be like, damn, I'm sexy, I'm amazing, I deserve to have a fulfilled relationship, girl, that is what you're gonna fucking have, okay? <laughs> you fucking deserve it. So we have this kind of omen of this guy coming through this is to me feels like either past relationships, an ex or an omen. It could be somebody in spirit as well. So there's lots of different messages with that one. So I'm hearing, I see you guys like opening your heart chakra and they're showing me you open your heart chakra by like opening your hands and I'm seeing like strawberry quartz and rose quartz being placed in your hands and you're giving it to yourself. That's the rose quartz. That's what I'm feeling is it's like you're allowing your heart to open. We only open ourselves when we feel safe. So for you, especially when it comes to intimacy, physical and emotional, it is really about safety. And especially if you have had any trauma in that area of physical or emotional intimacy, you will be learning to just get really comfortable with sitting with your stuff, which I know is uncomfortable, guys. I know, trust me, I'm a Scorpio. I feel it on the fucking daily. But it doesn't mean that you're not going anywhere. You are really on the right path. I'm hearing, trust me, you are on the right path. And with the Nine of Wands, your person feels as if they are fated, like really super fated to, to you. It's almost like they have never even come to your country or, you know, they might come on a holiday and you suddenly meet them on the beach or something and they're like, oh, I'm from Portugal or I'm from Spain or, you know, I don't even live here. I just visit here and then you manifest this person. It's just like really strange. It's like serendipitous. It really, really is. And I'm just hearing your timing is not the universe's timing, it's not your soul timing, that's your ego timing, that's your human timing. So don't ever put pressure on yourself to manifest somebody at a certain timing, because at the end of the day, it really isn't in your power, which I know, I know sucks guys, but this is your life. Remember, you're not living your life for a person, you're living your life for you. So if you don't feel fulfilled, you can change it. You can you can change your life at any point in your, in your life. You can do it with or without a partner. It really doesn't matter, you know? So, okay, so let's get some more infos. Let's see about how and when you're gonna meet this person. I really hope this isn't gonna be loud. I'm gonna try and put a card in the, in the trinket tray, because this is really loud <laughs> when I did this for crew number one. There we go, that's a bit better. Okay, we'll see what card comes up as well. Nice. Rose without thorns, I love that. Okay, gorgeous. All right, so let's see. I'm hearing, girl, you've gone for it. You're getting really organized. Um, I'm hearing, I know you've gone for it. We've been testing you, it's okay. 
I'm hearing, I know you don't think it's okay, but it's okay. Yeah, there's a lot of Sagittarius energy around this. This is about dreams, obviously. <laughs> we have dream. Um, so Sagittarius energy, when there's like the Sag moon, which is where, kind of the Sag Sagittarius full moon is where um, it is at the moment, where I'm filming this. There's a lot of people having dreams and that is very much Sagittarius energy. So you could actually meet them in your dream. You could see them really clearly. Um, you could get like a sudden flash of light or an image and you're like, whoa, who is this? And be open to it as well. Don't try to overthink it. Like, oh, is this my partner? Is this my next relationship? It's like, girl, who cares? It's like, it doesn't really matter. It's just like, if this is an omen coming to you, just invite it in. Don't try to overthink it, which I know is really hard being a human being. Trust me, I know. But it really is about just letting it come through, not judging it, because that's really where we should be living is non-judgment. But because we've been in a corrupt society for so long, we are in that position right now. Because we want, we want to be as much as close to nature as possible. Like, you know, just growing where we want to and not comparing ourselves to other people. Just literally look at, look at a tree, how it grows, grows wherever it wants. And it gets really, really strong. It's really long term. It grows through, it bears fruit. You know, it's got all this power. That is you. You are the tree. You are the stability. Okay, so we have the fourth house and the ninth house. We have 49 or 94, could be numbers for you. And I'm seeing that you have had quite a few manipulative Aries around you who are just really uncomfortable. And you're now being drawn to more air, like Geminis. Um, you want more fun. You're being drawn to more fun. Your, your heart chakra is opening, you're learning. You are inviting new people in who are so much more on your wavelength, who are more heartfelt rather than I mean heartfelt rather than stressed out okay so let's get you a crystal and see where your um relationship is going to be nice so this is the heart chakra but at this moment I'm going to say this is the throat so I'm going to say let's say heart and the throat so this is really nice this is about being able to be honest with yourself be honest with uh your path and where you want to go who you want to invite in. I'm hearing, girl, you have a choice, okay? You are not responsible for other people's stuff. You are not here to be just a giver. You are here to also be a liver. <laughs> a liver, I love that. D to live your life, basically. That's what they're saying. Nice. Gorgeous. Oh, hi. She came out for group number one. I just laughed because I just found the pose really, <laughs> really interesting. It's probably really good, actually, but I'm just laughing because it just looks like he's straining himself. Um, okay, so... Uh, he or she. All right, so we have the sacral and we have the solar. This is nice. That's your side. That's what you're going to be working on before meeting your person. And then let's have a look at your partner's side. So your person to me looks um, black or brown hair. They look like they have black or brown hair. They could be, um, you know, their ancestors or they could be from Egypt, um, picking up on uh, Jerusalem as well. Um, here in Dubai, Mexico, Jamaica, lots of different places. So that could resonate with you guys. And yeah, they really work on their throat and their crown. And it's really interesting because I'm pretty sure group number one got these two cards, but in a different position, which I find really interesting. And then we have the root chakra, which is really, really nice. This is the um, chakra energy deck, by the way, guys, if you guys are interested in this deck. Um, I try to mention the deck sometimes just if I feel drawn to a lot of you guys are asking a lot of the time so that's why I say it I'm hearing you got to give yourself more credit you have a right to enjoy it yeah you really do and it's like a lot whoa there's a loud beep outside um for a lot of you guys it's yeah you really do have a right to your joy it's like the sweetness of life is really what you're aiming for because when you do that when you actually aim for joy and you really focus on you like literally just girl really focus on you. This is actually going to bring in your person quite quickly because your boundaries are so fucking important. It's really about getting you comfortable with not being around all these toxic people and deciding for yourself what you really want. All right. So your person to me feels like a fixed sign, like a really powerful fixed sign could also be, oh, that does not want to sit there. Uh, could also be an, an air sign or an Aries. Oops. Okay. So new moon could be a new moon in Aries, Taurus or Libra oh, or Gemini. Um, so that's really, really nice. I'm picking up on Ikea for some of you guys. Oh, nice Leo. Yeah, we have Aquarius underneath. There's definitely a lot of fixed signs. I'm picking up on literally any fixed sign. So Scorpio, Leo, Aquarius or... Scorpio, Leo, Aquarius, Scorpio. No, Scorpio, Leo, Aquarius, Taurus. Okay, sorry guys, my brain just did a fart. A big, big fart. Um, all right, so let's move her up a little bit. Okay, I'm picking up on Stranger Things. I'm seeing like all the characters. I fucking love Stranger Things. It's like one of my favorite TV shows ever. It's like a genius. 
um, as a videographer. I fucking love it. It's just the way it's filmed is like, oh. Anyway, I'm not gonna talk about that because I will talk about it forever. But I'm just seeing like all the groups of the characters all coming together and working together. That's what you want. That's what you're aiming for. Your person's part of your soul tribe. They are so fucking mature. They're the sort of person that will pick you up at like 12 o'clock at night when you need a cuddle. They're the sort of person that will drive you to get you food. They're the sort of person that will bring you period products if you're a woman you have a period. Um, or there's somebody who, you know, gets you new underwear if you need it. There's somebody who really looks after you and you can, I can pretty much guarantee you this person will literally show you what real love is. And that is so cute, I love that. So if you haven't had, and obviously depending on the gender you're attracting, male or female, this person is really gonna heal that gender for you. So say if you've had a lot of corrupt relationships with women and mother figures, this is gonna really help you with the women coming the women coming into your life. If it's a man coming into your life, it's gonna help you with the masculine side of you, your father figure side, all the men in your life, it's gonna really heal that for you. And I feel so fucking passionate about this guys as well. You're gonna also first work on your stability before meeting this person. You may be going through your second house, um, which to me, uh, you could be around 25 or you know add uh, 12 years onto that and then just keep adding 12 and then you'll know if you're in your second house. And to me, what it's showing me is that you are basically working through a great deal of structure. Like you're getting more comfortable. Okay, what is my structure? What are, where are my boundaries? What is my foundation? Rather than what is everybody else's foundation? It's like, what is my foundation? And your person is so comfortable with you. It's like, you won't even forget, you will basically forget that they're there because you feel that comfortable with them. Like this person is your best friend. They are your life partner. And there's somebody who's really going to rewrite love for you. They're going to show you what true love is, which is so cute. I like, I just, I can't even explain how cute this is. They show me an Easter egg and they're cracking it open. It's like, oh, there's a Smarties coming out. It's very childlike, very playful. I'm hearing you deserve this. You deserve this. You deserve this. They, this is the sort of person that will, that knows your worth. And that's so yummy. Like, because this person knows their worth and that's how they can give that to you. If somebody doesn't know their worth, they won't know how to give that to you. And that's possibly why you've had a lot of people around you who just don't treat you very well because they don't know their worth. They don't know, they, they're very insecure themselves so they can't give that love to you. Because at the end of the day, if someone hasn't felt the love within them, they can't give that to you. So you could have a Jupiter or Saturn return before meeting this person as well. You could go for a lot of family stuff as well or a lot of travel and things like that. Possibly obstacles with travel. Um, and that could just be a sign that your person is on their way because you're getting stuck. And normally when we get stuck, it means we have to heal something and then move on. Um, so we also have Rose Without Thorns. What this is showing me is a lot of people have loved just a part of you, just a section of you, whether it be your physical or emotional side. It's kind of like if you've been friend zoned or you've been in like a, a one night stand and you've just felt like you've been kind of used. And I'm hearing girl, that is totally fine. Um, if that's what you've been through, <clears throat> that is kind of what you've had to deal with. But at the end of the day, you'll relearn to have both. You'll learn to have the sexualness and the physical, and physical. sorry, the sexual and the emotional and the spiritual. Your person, what I really love about this person is they really like your beliefs. You, you and this person's beliefs match. And it's not because you need someone to be like you. It's actually they just respect what you like. They respect who you are. And you both have the same similar ethic. Like you really want to do good in the world. You really want to help humanity. You are both dreamers. Um, you are both very old fashioned as well in some capacity. Like not so much old fashioned as in like kind of corrupt old fashioned where it's like you have to get married. You have to have kids. It's not that sort of thing. Um, it's more for me. It's like a more natural way of living. You like the more natural way of living. You possibly like things that are more where more things are naturally very conscious about what you put in your body very conscious about the sort of people you're around you are a very conscious person and you deserve a conscious partner because this this partner is very very conscious it's so amazing and if some of you guys don't know what really conscious means it's really just being awake to your own patterns and dealing with it as such and that's why this person's a really good partner that is a good partner and that is also a good lover and a good father slash mother depending on the gender that you want uh, and your life. Okay, so let's get you your tea leaf. Let's see what's going on for you. Okay, group number two. Hello, this is your tea leaf reading. Wow, oh my god. So, <clears throat> what I'm seeing is you and your person are really working on not constraining your masculine side. So especially, especially if this is a male to female relationship because 
of one of you being more feminine and one of you being more masculine actually being a male and a female in that as such. So I'm seeing a feminine female and a masculine male. So obviously this doesn't resonate with you, just skip this message, but this is for some of you guys. And the message that I'm getting for those of you who do want a straight relationship or, you know, a man or a woman and a man and a woman is what I'm seeing is your masculine as a female or a male. So the, fem the female, whoever I'm talking to in this relationship, the female, your masculine side is about really asserting yourself, being able to really express who you are and being able to assert yourself when it comes to masculines and men. The male with their masculine side is about not demasculizing yourself, especially, is that a word? I don't know, but basically not demasculizing yourself, I don't know, when it comes to being a male and really allowing yourself to be a balanced male, being a balanced male within your masculinity, to allow yourself to invite that feminine energy in and really allow yourself to feel what the woman is feeling and the her feminine stuff, but also be able to handle your stuff without it making you feel insecure. And that's kind of how I'm feeling. So that's obviously one message some of you guys, like I say, this is gender neutral, but that is one message for those of you who want a straight relationship. So what I'm feeling for those of you, like I say, like the masculine side is really important. And this is obviously for those of you who are male and female, we both have fem feminine and masculine energies. The masculine side, when it comes to this here, where it's like restricting yourself. So can you see this? It's like, we have the Mars and then it's pointing to this almost like barbed wire is showing me that you have felt restricted because of lack of, uh, say, maybe you haven't had a lot of men around you, haven't had a good father figure around you to really um, model a good father figure. Um, and it's caused you to attract a lot of uncomfortable masculine people, whether they be male or female and closed off people. So I see you traveling into more of your feminine side, which is really nice, just basically balancing out both sides of you. And you may uh, have an animal as well in your life when you are with this person, a cat or a dog, a dog, <laughs> a dog. And we have this Saturn and Libra energy. I'm seeing for a lot of you guys, you will, I'm hearing up, up it and travel. You might just suddenly get up and travel straight away about six months into knowing this person. What I'm seeing is because they light you up. They make you feel so safe. This person is your new tribe. This person is such a new tribal person. Like they are part of your soul tribe. They have always wished to have someone like you in their life. And you've always wished to have someone like them in your life. And it's so sexy. I love it. So I am picking up on really strong fixed signs. We do have Taurus being highlighted, which is nice. Is there anything else? I'm seeing like a, an alligator and a beaver. Those could be... Uh, your animals that I'm picking up on. Okay, let's see. Hmm. I'm hearing someone needs to be told. So there's people around you who need to be told like how to treat you because there needs to be strong boundaries set. And I'm hearing once your boundaries are met, your goals will be set. So it's like once you actually put in the work to really set your boundaries, you will attract a lot more, whether it be success, career, money, uh, friendships, connections, things like that. You want to attract more because you know your worth. You know you're worthy of that. Okay, I'm hearing, I'm seeing like a massive heart and I'm like hearing you're protected, you're protected, you're protected. All right, so let's see what else. Nice. Yeah, you're getting ready for a relationship. Everything you're going through right now is preparing you for a connection. Um, some of you guys, you've never been intimate with somebody, you've never been married, you've never, there we go. <laughs> I'm so happy. Divine counterpart, chemistry and partnership. Yep, you are one of the groups that I feel like is gonna be the closest to a partner, which is funny, because I, like I said, it reason about timing. There we go, choice. You might have to make a choice. It might be, um, like I say, I'm here, up it and move it. You might have to move all of a sudden. You might, when you move, uh, you might meet this person in a new town. Nice. Your choice is really about purging. It's deciding to purge as well. It's like, am I, do I love myself enough to really go deep within myself to really see what's going on? And it, a lot of the stuff you're going through is about allowing stuff to happen and not to really be concretely like stuck on it, which I know is really hard for a lot of us because we are human. But at the end of the day, if we can really surrender to the flow, you're going to be so much happier. Okay. Nice. Nice. Oh, I love these. This is really nice as well. We have this card of medicine, um, which I'm going to show you. Oh, it's just gone. Where's it gone? 
Okay, I'm not meant to show you that card because it's not coming back. Just lost it. We have growth and rebirth, which is pretty much exactly what you're going through. And I just want you to look at these cards for a minute just to really see if there's anything that you guys pick up. Because I feel like a lot of you guys kind of know what you're going through. You, you know the sort of thing you're going through and why you're going through it. And these are going to show you kind of why you're going through it. Okay. It's really allowing you to open up and um, see a new side of you. I'm hearing you restricted yourself so much. Why did you do that? Um, because I'm hearing like you have so much gorgeous parts of your personality. Why would you hide that? So this is really nice. And we'll speak up on like pyramids and we'll see in a caravan, someone like trekking across sand with like a caravan. So you might, I, I just feel like a lot of you guys love travel. This, this group is a traveling group. Like you love to do lots of different things. This person's going to excite you. And you know what's really nice is this, your relationship is not just going to be you and this person. It's going to be you and your person and your friends, which I feel like it's something you've wanted for a very long time. So I can see, I can definitely see that happening for you guys. So have a great day. Look after yourself. Uh, crystal shop and rates are down below. And I will speak to you very soon. Bye. Hello, group number three. Let's get started with your reading. So uh, we're going to do the tea in just a moment. We're going to do, I mean, more than just a moment. It might be quite a long reading, but uh, we're going to do your section of the reading, who this person is, all that jazz. And then we're going to be doing the tea leaves separately. So if you want to just look at the tea leaves, that is timestamped down below. So I'm getting some really interesting messages as I'm kind of tuning into you guys. What I'm seeing is Capricorn, a house, and I heard a shot in the dark. Um, a lot of you guys have, I'm hearing, been stabbed in the back. You can't trust people. You struggle to trust people. And you feel like people are out of your league or they're much more attractive than you. They're much more pretty than you. There's always someone better than you. That type of stuff. So what I'm feeling for you, the fact that you guys have diamond is a massive synchronicity. Because we have diamond, it's like you are a diamond. And it's really interesting is I found this out a few months back and it's like diamonds actually aren't that expensive. Um, what is, why diamonds are so expensive is because uh, people wanted to make money on them. So they basically did such a good job on advertising with diamonds are a girl's best friend and all that stuff is that's why diamonds are so expensive. So a lot of the stuff around you has been very manipulated. You know, you've probably been around quite a few manipula manipulative people who don't have your best interests, who really just care about themselves. So you have had a lot of manipulation, a lot of illusion. I'm hearing illusions. It's kind of really trying to hammer it into you. That's why I'm saying it like that. Um, that's why spirits kind of like really hammer it in because not a lot of stuff isn't real. A lot of stuff is not real. Like Instagram, the way people are in relationships. And this is something I like to explain to myself as well because sometimes I get carried away with things as well. Being, I have a lot of mercury in my chart. It's like, girl, you know, I think a lot. So what is really interesting is relationships are all different, but they can still be called relationships. So you can get like a couple who are, you know, in a relationship. You get another couple in a relationship. You get another couple in a relationship. Those three relationships all completely different. So you can get a relationship where they're both completely uh, mature, really understand each other, loving relationship, very understanding, emotionally mature. You can get another one where they're not so emotionally mature. You know, they are very much in their family patterns. They argue a lot, you know, things like that. Then you get another couple who might have, you know, a lot of toxic traits and they are very distant from each other. They struggle with intimacy, but each of these are still called the same thing, a relationship. So it's not to judge everyone else on, not sorry, not judge everyone else, judge yourself on what you are and aren't achieving. Your life is for you and you've got to decide that right now because that's going to attract a really nice person who respects you. It's really about respecting yourself because you are a lot of the time abandoning yourself if you keep comparing yourself to other people. It's like intense abandonment because that's probably what you probably received a lot when you were younger. Okay, so we have heal, which is obviously what you're learning to do and not learning to do, but you're learning through healing to have courage, to have courage with yourself. Okay, so... This says, um, diamonds are associated with the astrological signs of Leo, Libra, and Aries, the month of April and the sun. The diamond is a stone of strength and fierce, fearlessness. It promotes inner courage and aids in one's abilities to take meaningful action. It bestows a, self, a sense of self-confidence, enhances concentration, and heightens spiritual ecstasy. Love the spiritual ecstasy side. This is showing me like this is really about your self-confidence and your sense of intuition. And the reason why this is so important to do with relationships, because if your intuition is all over the place, 
you are going to struggle to trust yourself, you're going to struggle to trust your partner. And if you have had reasons to not trust people, of course you will feel like that. You know, you won't feel like you can trust people. So it really is about taking one fucking step at a time. Just really honestly, guys, one step at a time and giving yourself a break, okay? I'm seeing, I'm hearing you're like Bilbo Baggins. You're like in you know, The Hobbit. I can't believe I'm saying this. I don't even like The Hobbit that much. Um, but it's like you are kind of, I'm picking up like you're too comfortable with the patterns that you have had and you might start to be pushed into changing it which i know sounds annoying guys i know i only get these messages i don't i'm not having control over them sometimes so i'm sorry if they're not what you want to hear but that's just it's just what i'm feeling and just claim this this reading if you want to claim it don't want to claim it that's totally fine it is for entertainment purposes only at the end of the day okay I am seeing a really intense sexual message. So I'm sorry for those of you who are under 16, but, or under 18, but I just see like a red room. <laughs> that's all I'm telling, that's all I'm gonna say, all right? I'm picking up, I use physical intimacy to avoid intimacy. So you may have been very intimate with other people, but you never felt happy. And you're not, I feel like you're not doing that as much anymore. You're really concentrating on um, giving that sexual energy back to yourself. Nice. <laughs> I'm so happy. This is great. This energy is lovely. This is like, I'm choosing me, bitch. Everyone get out the fucking way. <laughs> Yay. I'm so happy for you guys. Okay. So this is really nice. I'm hearing, no, I'm not going to have a wolf in sheep's clothing. That's exactly what you're not having. Yes. Perfect. This is showing me you are having the real deal. You are attracting the real deal. And that is through friendships. That is through relationships who fucking respect you who care about you, who aren't selfish, you aren't just in it for themselves, okay? Nice, judgment. Three of Pentacles, lovely. That's within the same um, position as I think group number one. These readings can be very similar, obviously, because we're going, we are in a collective, we are all very similar. But you are definitely going for a really deep pattern change, which is nice, yeah, that's why we have the ego, nice. Your person will be lucky to have you, that's what I'm hearing. Yeah, you're shedding a lot of insecurities around feeling small, um, feeling afraid. Oh, this is, this is so great. If I could like literally f make you feel the feelings that I'm feeling, I would because it's so, it's great. It feels like I'm free. I'm hearing I'm free. I'm allowed to be free, I'm free. And I just keep hearing that. I'm hearing that song from um, Princess Diaries where it's like, miracles happen, that one. <laughs> um, that's, the, that's the energy I'm getting. I'm hearing the song Freedom as well by, I'm pretty sure Michael, no, George Michael, yeah. So what I'm seeing is you have had to go for a lot of this heartbreak stuff. Yes, I know it's uncomfortable as fuck. Yes, 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 I understand. But it's not gonna be like that forever. It really, really isn't. So the main thing you wanna focus on right now is making yourself as comfortable as possible, okay? Because this is gonna happen whatever, whatever you wanna go through, whether you wanna go through or not. You're gonna meet some really lovely friends, most likely the same gender as you, who help you to shift your ego, make you feel a lot more comfortable, able to trust other people, letting go of the past, and then moving on to the new. Your person is in an unexpected place. They might be in a place where you've never been before, like a club, a class, a new job, um, a new home that you're going into. It might be they, they used to live there, they're your neighbors, they are in your town. I'm hearing they used to walk your dog. Um, my head just turned and I'm, I saw, a, I felt like a dog around me. So um, they could be a dog walker. You could meet them while you're walking your dog. You could meet them while you're out walking and they have a dog and they come up to you. It's just, you don't have to worry about how it happens, but I just want to tell you just to give you some reassurance because I feel like a lot of you guys don't feel very hopeless when it comes to a partner. And a partner, like I always say, is not going to fully complete you. It's not going to fully make you happy unless you're happy within yourself. But you deserve something really, really fun. <laughs> like you deserve to have some fucking fun. A lot of you guys have just had a lot of shit thrown at you and you're just like, I can't deal with it anymore. Especially for those of you who are empaths and sensitives and indigos and star seeds. We have had a fucking bucket load, honestly. We really fucking have. It's like, oh, Whew. so many lessons, so many fucking lessons. Yeah, this is basically about like, I'm hearing truth be told, truth be told. I'm hearing if I'm honest, blah, blah, blah. To be honest, blah, blah, blah. It's like, you're really getting stuff out, you know? And that's what this is the healing. This is really nice. This is like, I'm a fucking diamond, bitch. Yes. And you're the real diamond. You're not the fake ones. <laughs> you're not the little faux ones. 
Um, okay, so let's get your cards. Um, let's get your dice as well. We're gonna look at your dice. So, all right, let's see. So this is really loud. So what I like to do is put the card down to kind of like soften the blue. Let's get your card as well. Because this microphone is extremely sensitive. I'm seeing like movements and waves in the air. That's so interesting. You could have like a sudden um, initiation, especially if you are being, I'm just going to be very blunt. If you're being intimate with yourself, let's say, and you feel like you get like to the peak, you, you suddenly feel this really interesting feeling. That's part of you ascending because you're getting more awake to your body. We have Sub Rosa, hidden in plain sight, mysteries, learning and teaching. Yeah, you are literally going through so many lessons. Girl, it's okay. They are happening for a reason and they are hidden. They are, basically, everything is hidden in plain sight for you at the moment. Okay, let's get some. I keep getting a lot of Taurus from these groups. This is the third group I've got on Taurus. Okay. Nice. Trust the seasons, beautiful. Embracing change, cycles of life, transition and growth. This is the Rose Oracle, by the way. I love this deck. Because as you guys know, if you've been watching my channel for a while, since this deck has come out, I've been pretty obsessed with it. It's got a very lovely mothery energy, which I really, really enjoy. Okay, so we do have the second house of Taurus. We've got Capricorn and we've got Virgo. So a lot of earth energy. This person is really stable. And what I mean by stable is they're commi they're very, very committed. Wow, you've got double Mars. Double Mars, look at that. That is so sexy. Um, I don't think I've ever got the same sign in the dice because there's a lot to choose from. So it's very rare that they're the same, which is really nice. So they're probably from a different country. They are most likely a different ethnicity than you. They look very different to you. Their parents, they could be in the same country as you, but their parents are from a different country. That's why they look different um, to you, possibly if you are of that country. Um, like typically look from like look like where you're from um i'm seeing one of you has very light hair one of you has very dark hair or you both look pretty much the same it's like you would look opposite or the same that's kind of what i'm picking up um this person to me is assertive you won't be able to avoid this person they are pretty much going to be right in front of your face i'm seeing like i'm picking up on sweden i'm getting really strong swedish and irish connections so you might this might be your partner this could be something else um uh, i'm hearing word wood wood something to do with wood woodwork they might work with wood <laughs> woodwork work the wood chuck chuck <laughs> okay sorry guys that's a saying that people say I don't, I don't know all right so we have um capricorn and virgo and second house this person is showing me that they are a hard worker really practical um they need to give themselves a break that they really harden themselves a lot of the time and they are two years older than you some of this, this person is 29. So one of these, one of the people I'm picking up on is 29. Uh, so that's obviously for some of you guys, if you're around that age. Okay, could even be like 10 years younger, 10 years older. I don't know, just take it as it resonates, guys. Honestly, I just get what I get, okay? Um, all right, so let's get you a couple more cards. We're gonna see a little bit more into who this person is. We're gonna pull you a little crystal. Number 11 is really strong for you. Nice, nice. Especially because we have the diamond, we have a nice clear quartz, lovely. That shows me you're going to have a really healthy relationship. Um, you're going to be introduced to something really interesting and I'm seeing like a career change for you. This person's going to influence you to change up your career. It might be you start a podcast, something to do with Mercury. Um, you may move. I'm, I'm, gonna, I'm really feeling this really excited, this strong excitement. I just saw this person giving you a key to their house and you're like, oh my God, oh my God, oh my God, oh my God, I'm so excited, I'm so excited. And you're like jumping for joy, like, oh my God, oh my God. Because this is what you've always wanted. You you find the home, This the home, the home for you is really important. Like having a home where you feel safe is so fucking important. So and you haven't had that really a lot. So that's so important for you. I can't even tell you how important that is. That's why you're so excited. Um, your person can have very strong fixed sign qualities. They don't actually have to be any of these signs. I'm picking up for a lot of you guys. They're not even really um, one of those signs. Their sun. They could that that could be their rising Mars or Venus. Lovely. Um, so you've had to wait a while to get into an intimate relationship because you are learning to be intimate with your own emotions, which is normally the case for a lot of people when I read for them. It tend to be what has happened because that's obviously the collective. And then we have the solar eclipse. You, the solar eclipse is possibly when you meet them or a lunar eclipse. I'm hearing this is lunar because it's um, upside down. So 
Okay, let's get you a couple more cards. Let's see what else wants to come through for you guys. Oh, we're going to do the tea leaf actually before we look into the other cards. Okay, so I feel like I just want to have a look at... Oh my god, I forgot to pull you guys a sharper card. Oh, I just forgot. Okay. What are you guys working on? What are you fucking working on, bitch? This is the Chakra Energy deck for those of you who want to know. This is the Third Eye Chakra Breath and this is the uh, Hakini Mudra Knowledge Breath. I trust my intuition and delight in moments of synchronicity. Okie dokie. So that's what you're working on. You're working on trusting your intuition. You're working on slowing your breathing down and uh, living moment to moment, which is really nice. The person is working on the root chakra. They're working on attracting an abundance. You're working on more of like the mind. They're working on more of the physical. They're learning to receive. What's going to be really interesting for this for this relationship, it's not going to be anything like you've had before. And I know I say that a lot, but it really isn't going to be like anything you've had before because you've always been the one to force, push, and basically adjust connections. This person's going to give you everything you want. So it's going to be really different for you because you've always had to be the nurturer and the giver. And I'm hearing, well, you don't have to be that anymore because they're the giver as well, <laughs> which is what every relationship should be like, you know, that's that's what they should all be like. Underneath, we have Standing Yoga Mudra. This is the crown chakra. So this is about trusting your gut, trusting your intuition and trusting another person. And also trusting this type of gender as well. Whatever gender you're wanting in a relationship, you're trusting that gender because obviously a lot of the time when we are in a relationship, it is about trusting them because when we're, when we're emotionally we're open, because we come from a society that for some reason likes to shove down their emotions. So it's like, it does take a while to open up to people and that's okay. It's about the journey, not the destination, you know? All right, so it says, the more we try to control things, this is for this card here, the more we try to control things and keep them the same, the further away from the flow of life and ourselves we get. Change can be scary for it means surrendering to the unknown or being in the in-between to being not who you were and not quite who you'll become. It requires a trust in the transformation, in the death in order for the rebirth to occur, and a deep reverence for all the seasons of your life. The more we resist change, the further away we are who, the more we resist change, the further away we are from who we're becoming. When we embrace change, we embrace life and nature and are forever becoming. How can you embrace the changing seasons of your life? That's so beautiful. And we have all the generations. We've got the child, the mother, and the grandmother. So that's really, really lovely. Okay, so let's get your tea leaf, guys. Let's see what's going on for your tea. Okay, group three. So yours is definitely about embracing the messy side because I kept getting tea everywhere. And I was trying to kind of obviously tune in and adjust accordingly because obviously I want every um, reading to be different. So I was obviously kind of going with my intuition and it kept like swaying away from what I wanted. <laughs> obviously, which is good because that's obviously the intuition kind of kicking in and the guides kicking in. Oh, I've got a bit of tea on the side. It's really about perfectionism for a lot of you guys. You're really learning to not perfectionize your whole life and that's not a word but it is now um because we have the star as well the star is about you trusting your intuition and trusting the divine guidance i'm picking up on the countries of africa as well i'm here in nigeria um as well and my top lip there's something to do with my top lip i don't know if you guys have a piercing or maybe you got stung or something on your top lip but i'm picking up on something up the top lip something to do with that um yeah that's what i'm feeling so your person could have quite large lips as well which would be really good for you especially if you have large lips it should be make them a really good kisser okay so let's see so a lot of you guys haven't had a lot of physical intimacy in your life not to the point where you feel satisfied so uh you are going to revisit your intimacy which is obviously true because you're going to be intimate with this person i'm seeing like ovaries so for those of you who are women or who might be being with a woman um, there's a sense of birthing and there's a sense of creation, feeling comfortable in your feminine, feminine power, um, having a, or having a woman who's comfortable in their feminine power. I'm seeing like babies being born. I'm hearing reptile from, um, Rugrats. <laughs> uh, 
Um, there was something else I wanted to say as well. What was the other thing I wanted to say? Yeah, there's definitely a sense of perfectionism, like stop trying to control everything. Because you contract, it, you tend to like stop things from coming towards you when you tend to do that. So, um, yeah, beautiful. I see this person texting you a lot. Oh, physical intimacy, that was it. So I see a lot of hand holding, I see a lot of kissing, I see a lot of, um, you love when they touch your back. You love that. Um, they're gonna be on top of you a lot as well. So I'm just gonna say that really bluntly. Nice, <laughs> there we go. I did get a lot of uh, intimate messages. This is a very sexual card, so. Rock it, hi. Direction, movement, protection and giving. No, I love that. And you will feel protected and that's something you haven't had a lot in your life. You haven't felt protected. You haven't felt like you're actually important and you fucking are important. You are so important. I'm hearing, oh my God, you're important. You are so important. Yeah, you've definitely had to feel like you're dependent on somebody else to protect yourself and you don't have to do that with this person. You both have been very um, dependent on another person, which is just a fucking just side effect of society, really. Nice, there we go. Oh my God, we have dependence and then we have independence. Depend sorry, dependency and independence. I love that. You're coming away from a lot of your family patterns as well, which is why it's a lot easier to be more independent. Like the, the independence, what it's showing me is you're no longer in your patterns. You are becoming a lot more like the positive, not positive, sorry, healed version of yourself. Yeah, and that's why you're purging, clearing and releasing. A lot of your addictions and patterns will pretty much be out the window when you're with this person because you'll be a different person. Like your person really wants to cultivate a sexy connection where both of you are healed and happy and comfortable. It's going to take a while to be fully comfortable with this person because it's different. It's a different type of relationship. You never had this style before, um, but it's nice. It is really, really, really nice and you're going to be very happy. Nice. So those of you especially who resonate as a feminine, girl, you have had a shit ton of relationship issues when it comes to, I hate the word issues, but relationship complications when it comes to your Venus side. Oh, there's a sense of like having to control things. Maybe you have Libra Venus, Taurus Venus, Capricorn Venus, Scorpio Venus, um, Pisces Venus, Virgo Venus. Those Venuses are very important um, because it's it's kind of about like trying to control stuff, trying to get things a certain way. And especially if you are a feminine, you have been, you're being called on to rise. You're being called to really show up for yourself. And this relationship is nothing short of just absolutely gorgeous. It is so complete it feels complete to me and what i'm seeing is you've completed a cycle of karma and um there's a massive sense of activation this is called the asteria oracle cards by the way if you guys are interested i try to show you guys as many of the oracle cards as i can obviously if i don't have time then i won't but activation which is beautiful i'm hearing i've been waiting for you for a really long time and your person's like i've been waiting for you for a really long time like both of you are needing pretty much needing each other just to really give you a sense of completion and awareness and validation it's kind of like no you don't need somebody to validate you but you actually do at some point like you need somebody outside of you to really say no you're not crazy the stuff you've gone through is fucking valid okay and i'm seeing um about i'd say about two years two years is a good uh, a good amount for any sort of time it doesn't have to be a relationship it can be a certain thing you're trying to attract in two years as well um, a lot of you guys are, yeah, can you see uh, the Venus and we have the sun? It's like you're really being called on to rise. And we have that here, the Venus and this almost sun energy here. I think that's probably Mars, but yeah, that's really, really beautiful. Okay, so I, I, do I have, have I like done everything? I'm pretty sure I have. If I haven't, I'm sorry guys if I've forgotten to do something, but have a great day. I really hope you enjoyed this reading and I'll speak to you very soon. My rates and my crystal shop are below. I'll speak to you. Oh, wait, no. Yeah, I have done all the cards. Okay. <laughs> have a great day and I'll speak to you soon. Bye. Hello, good number four. Let's get started with your reading. So you guys got the card of receive and opal. So on this card, it says wisdom and strength. So for a lot of you guys, you are going to gain a crap ton of wisdom before you are in a relationship. You're going to learn about how you work, how your mind works, the people around you, the sort of people you want to be around, the sort of people you're attracting, your connections with people, how um, your, you know, your childhood really affected your relationships and things like that. 
What I love about Opal is you can get Opalite, which is like the manufactured version, or you can actually get Opal, which is so, so stunning. If you don't know what Opal is, I'd highly recommend looking it up. It is gorgeous. And I do have, I think I used to, I think I used to have a couple of pieces on my website, or I do still have some. There might still be some on there. Uh, they're little tiny pieces. They're absolutely gorgeous. And they're obviously made by Mother Earth. They're very natural. So the Opal is a stone of focus, aiding in meditation, while enhancing a sense of peace and balance. It, be, it, it brings both self-possession and self-knowledge and is a powerful tool for encouraging inner strength and wisdom. So these are associated with Leo, Libra, Aquarius and the month of October, especially lucky when worn on a Monday. So this is definitely about initiating because Monday is kind of like the, the day of initiating getting stuff done. So for you guys, it's about using your ideas and really initiating them. For you guys, I feel like your ideas have always been kind of swept under the rug. How you feel about things has um, normally been swept under the rug, but how you feel about certain people, about certain things. Sorry, guys, these petals are really bugging me. There we go. Um, so yeah, the way you, you feel about certain people, like your opinions have kind of just been swept under the rug, like not really been... Um, acknowledge so for you it's really important to recognize your power um, how you feel about yourself and in groups especially as well so that's definitely um, something you're really learning and also it's your kind of relation your relationship to groups I'm thinking like this group is very much about Gemini it's very much about how people see you not really giving a shit about what people think um, listening to your gut listening to your intuition <clears throat> and listening to your opinions and realizing that you're allowed to have your own opinions and when it comes to receiving you may have had a lot of relationships where you where you couldn't receive a lot because maybe you weren't given a lot you might have had connections that were quite distant you might have not had a lot of love in uh, your life especially as a child so for you receiving love and intimacy is quite a big deal for you especially physical so um, you might have had a lot of lack of physical intimacy as well or been taught that that's wrong or you know not you're not allowed to have it which is literally it's our birthright to have anything physical because we're in a fucking physical body so it's literally our birthright to um to be that so that's definitely something you're learning to open up to which is really nice i love that there we go perfect I don't see a partnership being too far away from you. If it's not, if it's not a partnership, it will be um, just deep relationships overall. It'll be a friendship who really helps you to get in your body, who helps you to feel really accepted. And you'll most likely meet these people through work. I see you meeting your next partnership through work um, and friendships as well. Could be also just uh, something in common you both have. You could meet these people online as well. So it could be if you work for yourself, you work a lot online, then you could meet your person through online as well. So it is through work, but it's more like through the internet, if that makes sense. We then have the Six of Pentacles. We have the Chariot. And let's get one more. We have the Two of Pentacles. So I'm seeing you reaching out for something. It's kind of like you've always felt like things are really far away from you. There's a sense of like the grass is always green on the other side kind of vibe. So it's always been like everyone else seems to have their life, like their life together and their shit together and you don't feel like you have your shit together. So this is something you're learning is to be more in your body when you are in connection with people. And this is like across the board, like I mentioned, it's not just relationships, this is partnerships as well. So we then have the chariot, which is showing me forward movement. And I think it's when you really start believing in yourself and your beliefs. I feel like a lot of people try to change your beliefs. So oops, it's really important to um, stay strong in your beliefs. And you might have a very strong connection to Egypt um, and hot countries and just generally like pyramids and things like that. And maybe Egyptian language and things like that. Or, you know, the writing they have on like the walls and things. Um, I also see in the next couple of years, you're going to be really closely connected to your spiritual side and you're going to be able to feel more comfortable expressing that side of you, whether it be like with crystals or your work, you might do more of a, like a healing career. You might, or you might just do a career where you feel just more comfortable being yourself. Like you're not restricting yourself. You're not stopping yourself from uh, being who you are. You're not kind of adjusting for other people. You're just being who you are. And it's bringing in so many more easier connections that just don't feel like a pain in the ass, basically. Um, so we have these two cards. I feel like you've, I'm hearing I've opened up to the wrong people. And what I'm seeing is you definitely haven't opened up to the wrong people. It's just the people you've attracted haven't been, you know, that comfortable with relationships. And it's because that's something you've been taught to bring in, but you, it's been a subconscious pattern really. So you're learning to um, really put yourself first. I'm hearing track your progress. So having a dream journal, um, doing therapy, having something like um, a diary, 
going running, having an app that we can track your progress is going to help you to understand how fucking far you've come because you've gone, you've come so far and you could have gone through a really intense health journey that has caused you to feel just really alone uh, or realize that you are like basically stronger than what you think you are. So in terms of relationships, your timing is very random. Um, there might be a timing later on in the reading, but right now I'm just seeing it's actually about how concrete you feel. If you don't feel concrete, like you can really focus on yourself, then you won't be able to really at the moment manifest that partner until you feel concrete. So it's really about you manifesting your confidence because your confidence is so, 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 so important. Okay, so... So, 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 <laughs> I say that a lot. All right, so let's get your um, dice. Let's see um, what dice wants to come through. Sorry about the uh, focusing, guys. So I'm going to pull you a card. Sorry, I'm saying so, so much in this reading. But like a lot of you guys are overthinkers, you kind of talk, 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 talk. <laughs> I'm getting such strong Gemini from this group. I'm getting like Gemini and Aquarius. A lot of you guys are deep thinkers. I'm hearing it's okay to express your thoughts. Most people have the same thoughts, and they don't. Remember, you're allowed to be different, especially my Aquarians. You're allowed to be different. Most 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 Aquarians feel pretty much different from everyone else. Same with Scorpios. Aquarians and Scorpios are very dissimilar in that way. So we have the return. Yeah, very, very accurate for you. A new story, you decide, alignment is coming together. And that is exactly what I feel. A lot of you guys have been on such a weird journey recently. You just feel really, really uncomfortable. So um, it is all coming together. It might not feel like it, but it really is. So... I'm gonna, I like to put the dice on top of the card because it's very loud. So, um, okay. some of you guys um, are getting a retail job or you're quitting retail, one of the two. Okay. Joy, enjoyment, life force, success, vitality, and play. That is really gorgeous. And I think a lot of you have been quite far away from play recently. So, you're being called to focus on play. Lovely, you have Aquarius. That's nice. Yeah, I did, I did feel I was kind of talking like word vomit in this group, which is good. It's, it's good to talk a lot. So I'm not saying with you guys who like to talk a lot, it's wrong, because honestly, it's a really good thing. But sometimes it can be a sense of like nervousness or having to kind of show people who you really are, over explain yourself. And I'm hearing you don't have to explain yourself to anybody unless you obviously feel like you need to. So we have Mercury Aquarius in first house. This is about being independent in your thoughts. And I keep getting that really strongly. Your person is very, very masculine. Um, whether they're a male or a female, I just pick up they're quite masculine. Um, they have their shit together. They love working. They like a routine. They do need to get... They, you're the one to bring in more of the fun side into their life. They're quite practical. They can be a bit stubborn. So it can be quite hard for them to kind of let go. I'm hearing let go and let God. They might actually be religious or they might be coming away from religion as well. They come from quite a restrictive family. That is a bit too much um, basically to handle sometimes. So they have kind of um, been in a situation where they haven't really been able to speak their truth. You both are very similar. You both have come from kind of like, I don't want to say a broken family. That's not really, I'm not really like saying it like that. But you've come from a family where you've always felt like the smaller person you always felt like everything's restricted around you and you feel like pretty much shrunken into a box so that's kind of what I'm feeling for you you kind of feel like success is the only way to get affection so for you that's why you are possibly attracting a masculine because for you it's really important to have that masculine side where you you might be quite feminine so just take it as it resonates this is a general reading so the first house of Mercury is showing me this person loves to speak. They are a speaker. There's somebody who's very confident. They actually are quite insecure, but outside they're like very, very confident. And this person has definitely gone through a lot. There's somebody who understands you because they've gone through a lot. And that is definitely sort of a very good partner who's actually experienced a lot because they can really resonate with you. And like the Opal, very multifaceted. Um, there's somebody who likes to experiment. They, they could be an inventor, like they like to create stuff. There's somebody who works on computers a lot. They like apps. They could do coding or graphic design or something like that. That could be their career. Um, you're going to mostly meet, most likely meet them in some sort of, I'm hearing in plain sight. They're, they're definitely um, in a work environment. It could be a course, a course. It could be a um, fair. It could be a, you know, like those job fairs that you can go to and kind of select jobs and, you know, things like that. It could even be at a university, a school, something like that. Could even You could even meet them as young as when you're in school, like 16. Um, but I'm picking up wherever it is. It's like a structured environment. Um, it could even be online where they meet, they connect with you through your business rather than a personal account. I'm seeing there's a sprightly side to you that they really love. 
Um, they have come from quite a strong, strong prime of conforming. So they do definitely are working on um, being more the, like re repairing, not repairing, healing their inner child. And that's why they're learning also to receive. Um, this person could be a Capricorn, Aquarius, Pisces, Aries, uh, Sag and Cancer, possibly. I'm not feeling too much of the Cancer, I'm feeling more of like earthy or air. Um, but yeah, definitely. And we'll speak up on Blue Chalcedony for some of you guys as a crystal recommendation. Okay, so let's get you some astrology cards. We'll see if there's any extra info about this person. So you guys may have been told this a few times in other readings if you have had them before or in pick cards. But you're not really meant to know when your person arrives. Um, because you'll need to learn a lot about yourself, this would be a massive distraction otherwise, because you'd be solely focused on this partner, because you guys are very relationship orientated, and you will put this person above you if you don't learn to work on your independence. And this is about trusting yourself. A lot of the time when we feel like we don't have independence, it's because we don't trust ourselves enough to actually look at our stuff and really be with it. So it's really important to support yourself with things like EFT, counseling, doing shadow work, um, playing, doing things that make you, get out your body and you know dancing things like that maybe shaking your body uh, i recommend an account that i follow a lot of people obviously a lot of you might follow this person she's called the holistic psychologist it's the dot holistic dot psychologist who's amazing and uh, i feel like that could help a few of you guys as well so we have the 11th house so you're definitely going to meet them through most like the internet or a group definitely to do with work because the 11th house is to do with friends groups uh it is ruled by aquarius of course it is because aquarius is really coming through in this reading and um, yeah, it's really, really powerful. A lot of you guys definitely have this wounded healer vibe going on, same with your person. So if I'm just saying something about you, it is to do with your person as well, because you are, we are who we attract. So we attract who we are, yeah, same thing. <laughs> so um, that's basically what you guys are working on, is working on your Chiron. So if you are struggling to kind of get comfortable with being single or, you know, you're kind of you're struggling with relationships, Chiron's a really nice one to look at um, because it's uncomfortable as fuck and we tend to ignore it <laughs> to be blunt so let's see what you guys are working towards i'm picking up for a lot of you guys working in a flor in a florist uh, with flowers or um with animals is going to help you so much i don't know where to put this i'm just going to lean it there so this is the third eye this is uh, the breath this is what you guys could do to uh, look after yourself right now the knowledge breath number 47 so that's for your guys. That's about you guys listening to your intuition. A lot of you guys are really in your head um, and your person's gonna ground you. They're gonna stop you overthinking basically because they're really, they make you feel safe. Yes, perfect. This person's working on their heart. So this is why this person is coming through quite masculine because they are learning to get in more into their feminine side, which is why we have that heart chakra being highlighted because the sun's very masculine and the heart chakra is quite feminine. So, okay, and then we have underneath the solar plexus, which is all about self-confidence, loving yourself, accepting yourself, things like that. Um, this is the chakra energy deck for those of you who are interested. So that's kind of what I'm feeling for you in this section. There's really actually not a lot of messages for you guys in terms of your partner. I genuinely feel like because you're going through such a big transformation, there's a lot that you are, that you're not meant to know at this moment, but it's okay. If this doesn't resonate with you, you can always choose another group. Um, but what I'm seeing is this person is learning to open up and let themselves be in a connection where they feel seen. And can you see, these two are actually really similar. So you're both pretty much going through the same thing. I'm hearing, I'm scared of opening up, I'm scared of opening up. And that's literally like what your person is going through. Okay, so let's get you a crystal. And we're going to see, uh, it also could have Chiron and Aquarius, by the way. Or uh, you could be going through some sort of Chiron aspect or like a last quarter moon in Aquarius or something, something like that. Um, you could be born where the moon is in Aquarius. So you could have your moon in Aquarius, something, a lack, a death. Okay. So, sorry guys about the, uh, the, uh, what's it called? Focusing. Okay. All right. So let's get you a crystal. Let's see what one you need at the moment. Or one for you working on. Let's see. Ooh, I was actually feeling the solar plexus, but that's nice too. That's the heart chakra and the uh, throat here. Okay, so let's have a look at your TV reading. Let's see 
what's for you guys in the leaves. Okay, group number four. So for you guys, what I heard was I struggle with intimacy. There's something around intimacy that I'm really picking up on. I'm heard, I, I haven't been supported with intimacy. And we do have Scorpio and Libra. We have uh, Virgo, Libra, Scorpio and Sag really being highlighted here. There's a lot of water. There's a lot around the water sign. So <clears throat> this is showing me that for a lot of you guys, it's about being closer to your emotions and Libra could uh, represent your childhood or their childhood as well and need for balance. So, oh, I see some water, hold on one second. Had some tea like stuck in the back of my throat. <laughs> All right, so let's see what's going on for you guys when it comes to the tea. Oh, okay, so I'm hearing I'm spreading myself thin. So this person is definitely, tends to be a workaholic. They are very Saturn, they're really, really Capricorn. Um, there's somebody who strives for a lot of achievement. They, to get like any attention from their parents is basically that's how they got attention, um, is to succeed and get money. So this person could even be like, have, have been highly religious or like a workaholic and they basically burnt themselves out and that's basically awakened them to more feminine energy. I'm picking up on a whale as your omen. It's kind of like I'm here to take up space and your person is really 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 loves you they love the way you sing i'm hearing i love the way you sing i love the way you speak you could have a, like a significant accent or your accent could be different to theirs you could struggle with languages or you could really love languages it's a sense of like intellect around translation and you love travel as well and this person isn't really a massive traveler they are a bit of a hermit so you're going to help them to get more comfortable with um expressing that kind of like traveling side and things like that so the the star here is showing me that this is very, very <laughs> divinely timed. I'm actually picking up for a lot of you three to four years when it comes to a relationship, like bringing that in. But honestly, just don't take it too seriously. Obviously, this is for entertainment purposes only. So just take it as it resonates. But I'm seeing like a cockatiel as well, or a bear, or a wolf. That's really, really interesting. Um, so yeah, this feels like... A lot of like fears coming up around intimacy but honestly guys I don't see any like proper like issues or anything like that I just feel like for you guys it's really about looking at you and how to really give yourself a lot of happiness because you really haven't been able to do that in the past because you're a giver you are definitely a giver okay there we go lovely so that's kind of what you're looking for you're looking for a, a shit ton of passion in your life you have the creative energy enthusiasm and drive and then we have stability, security, grounding, strength and safety. And that's literally what you, what you want. To be passionate is to feel safe. Like you can't be passionate and not feel safe at the same time. Um, this person allows you to feel safe. And I love this because this is, has multi multifaceted sides as well. It has lots of different sides to it. This always shows me somebody who doesn't really accept their gifts or doesn't really see their gifts or see their worth. And yeah, it is really about your inner child, like really being seen, um, really being heard and having a sense of worthiness. And I think for a lot of you guys, there's a lot of childhood energy. So a lot of you guys could really be working on getting a child at the moment. And it's about just really being comfortable in relationships. Um, for a lot of you guys, you will be working on getting a child for another couple of years. But honestly, it's divinely time. So you could even meet them on holiday. You could meet them when you're abroad. I'm hearing I'm abroad once a year. So that could be something where you meet them. So it could be an Aquarius. This person's also really like a massive light being. Um, there's somebody who is very awake and they're very unique. They have always felt very different from a lot of people. And that's why they've always just, they've kind of felt alone pretty much a lot of their life. Uh, and I'm hearing you're not alone, you're not alone, you're not alone. Nice. Both of you are going through and have gone through a really strong activation it's really important for you to get out in nature at the moment because you are very sensitive you're feeling that sensitivity um you can meet your person in nature your person they're not really showing me what sort of job they do but they're just showing me that for them for you 
like you're the reminder to them to really focus on the heart chakra they do, they do tend to get away from the heart chakra quite a bit because they are quite masculine so for you you're going to be that feminine energy in their life whether you're a male or a female and both of you are going to have this really strong activation you might suddenly get up and move house into their home or they might move into your home um you might move state there's a sense of like picking up your entire life and moving because it feels right everything about this relationship is very divinely timed it is really about timing for both of you so don't worry about when this is going to happen because honestly it's your timing so don't try to you know judge yourself or compare yourself it really isn't about that it's about just letting things flow and you're going to be very sensitive to the moon in the next couple of years so you know for my women be aware of your cycles um you know give yourself a lot of love raspberry leaf tea is very very good i've heard about for periods and things like that and just be near water if you ever feel like you're feeling drained just be near water and have a nice bath and give yourself a break so have a great day that's what i'm saying for you guys um my rates and crystal shop are below and i'll speak to you very soon much love bye